Hello, I've got some fun food science for you today. We are going to make homemade ice cream. This is a cool um, experiment that turns a liquid into a solid. So we know liquid molecules are um, not so tightly packed and they're, they're fluid, they can move, right? Where a solid, the molecules are tight, tighter packed. Okay, so um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to um, show you how to make ice cream, but you can also get on the link and the recipe and everything's there for you too. All right, so first thing you're going to do is take um, a small Ziploc bag. And some Ziploc bags are better than others. So I found that if I use a name brand, it seems to be a little bit um, thicker and it seals a little bit better. So you want to use one with a zip seal. So you'll need a sandwich size bag and then you'll need a larger one. Okay, so all the ingredients are going to, to go in the sandwich bag. So I'm going to start with a tablespoon of sugar. So I'm um, just regular white sugar. And I'm not going to be super careful about my measurements. So a tablespoon of sugar, it goes in the little bag. And then you need a half a cup of milk. Now there's all kinds of ways you can do this, and this would be fun to play and, and try some different recipes. So um, at our house, we have 1%, and I also have some almond milk. Um, but I decided to use the 1%. I want a total of a half a cup. So I'm going to just use a fourth a cup of um, the almond, or the regular milk. But then I'm going to use um, a fourth a cup of um, whipping cream. So this will make it a little bit richer and yummier. So for a total of a half a cup. Okay, so if you have whole milk, you could just use all whole milk. You could just use all non-fat milk if you wanted. And um, it will just make it um, richer or less rich. So there's the milk. And then the last ingredient is a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's simply for the flavoring. So I'm gonna put in a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla. Of course, you could put in other flavors too. You could put in mint and have mint flavored ice cream or almond or any type of berry would be great. All right, and then, so those are my three ingredients. That's all it is. So we've got some sugar, we've got some milk or the dairy product and um, some flavoring, some vanilla. So then I'm going to zip it up and just like when we did the cookie experiment, I wanna try and get as much of the air out of the bag as I can and then carefully zip it up. Okay, so I'm making sure that that's sealed. Now, if you're not sure that that's going to be sealed, you could actually put this Ziploc sandwich bag inside another Ziploc sandwich bag, and that would protect you a little bit more of it. So I'm going to put four cups of ice, and again, I'm not going to be super exact. So this is just ice that I got out of my freezer. I decided to um, refreeze. So Ice is constantly melting, and the outside layer is what's melting, turning into water, and then it was refreezing on top of each other. So I'm gonna have to do a little digging here, a little chiseling. Well, I could just put this uh, milk mixture into the ice and it would freeze. But that's actually not going to work. In fact, don't believe me. Try it and see for yourself. What we need to do is we need to make this ice even colder um, than what it is. We're going to make something called a brine, B-R-I-N-E. And the brine is going to um, become colder, actually, than with the ice temperature the ice could be, and it's going to draw the heat out of this milk mixture so that the um, warm milk mixture will freeze. Remember that heat energy always travels from the warmer places to the colder places, so it's going to move out of the milk and um, so that this will go to a freezing level. So to help the ice get to that cold level, I'm going to use something called um, rock salt. And this is actually meant for ice. It's called ice cream salt. And I'm just going to pour about a fourth of a cup in. Again, I'm not being super accurate. If you don't have any of this at home, 
You could use like sea salt, or you can just regular use, uh, use regular Morton salt. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. The nice thing about um, the ice cream salt is it's big and chunky. And um, because it's so big and chunky, then I'm not gonna worry about it getting my mixture so salty. So, but anything works. Okay, so I'm gonna mix that up. I'm gonna put the um, Ziploc bag with the uh, liquid in there, seal this up, and then the fun begins. So it's gonna take about five minutes, and I'm just gonna gently work this around. As you could tell, my hands got really cold holding this bag, so I used a towel. Now I'm going to open it up, and what's happened is the salt melts the ice. Like when we put salt on roads to melt the ice on a road, a winter road, but it makes the water level colder than freezing. So here's my ice cream, and it's got this salty brine uh, water all around it, so we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is bring it over to the sink and just real quickly wash it off so that it's not salty. I don't want it to. Um, I don't want it to warm up. And then there's two ways to eat this. One is I could cut a hole in the bottom corner and then just squirt it out like that. Or I can open it up and eat it like this. Mmm. That is so good. So I hope this summer you make some ice cream. And add some berries to it. Try some different combinations of milk. It's really good.